welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is macy if you're not welcome back um as you can tell by the title we're doing a fall reset vlog i'm so excited that we can pretend it's fall now um i live in texas so it's like 107 degrees but we can pretend it's fall so we're gonna budget i need to make a budget so bad i've spent so much money and i don't even know where my money's going so we gotta deal with that um, I'm going to go over my September goals. Um, we need to go to Plato's Closet to make some money, get a spray tan, all of the things. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to budget first just because it's something that I need to do the most. I'm using every dollar. Um, so that means I'm going to see where every single dollar that I have is going to a place. I think that's a good start for me because I've been spending so much money just like blindly here and there okay, and I'll put my little screen recording right here so yeah like I said like I said I use every dollar so every single dollar that I have is going to be put in a place so right here I'm gonna put my paycheck I work a nine-to-five job um after taxes it's like around two thousand a little bit more sometimes but we're just gonna say two thousand after taxes so savings, I'm gonna budget for 250 just cause I have a lot of credit card debt that I need to pay off. So 250 for savings. Rent, um, I don't pay half of the rent. Uh, we used to have a one bedroom apartment and I wanted to have a two bedroom for me to have the office. So I pay like the difference if that makes sense. So. We have $600 for that. Gas, we're gonna say $50. Groceries, $150. Okay, credit card, we're gonna pay $500. Um, my car payment, it's not due until the 22nd, so I'll get paid for then. So that's where that paycheck will go. Um, health insurance, everything's included with my paycheck. So we have $450 left to budget. So, okay, we're going to do $350 into savings. Mm, we're going to do... $50 on restaurants and because like I have to put the money in a spot like it doesn't have to be like exactly $50 at restaurants like it varies from here or there it's just so that way it can have a place and necessarily have to be like $50 if that makes sense so um, we're gonna say that I had $30 with subscriptions Fun money. I'm going to a Jonas Brothers concert, so we're gonna do a hundred. And then if anything, I can add more to my credit card. So I'm gonna do 550. $120 left. So change that to 150. 70 more dollars. Okay, so I changed the fun money to 220 just like finesse to have an every dollar budget. So this is what I'm gonna do um, for right now and we'll see how it goes. Like obviously I need to check in at least once a week to see where I am, where my money's going. I think honestly it's on my subscriptions so I need to get that in order. And also I need to stop buying stuff on my credit card. I don't go crazy, it's just I don't like seeing my debit card balance go down. So I just like seeing my credit card balance go up, which I know, I know that makes no sense, but just being honest. Now, now we're going to reflect on August. So I'm just going to go through my August goals real quick, and then we'll write out our September goals. I do like to physically write them out instead of like typing them. It's just more serotonin. So the first goal was to find non-screen habits or hobbies. I did do that. I started reading more, which leads me into my second goal. I read a book. 
Um, make a skincare routine. I did that. Enjoy my grandma's birthday. Did that. Um, I didn't do three times yoga, two times boxing. I did the opposite. I did like five times yoga. So we're still gonna add a little smiley face for that because I did work out. Long story short, August, I just wanted to focus on being more mindful because July I spent like 75% of my life on my phone. Um, so yeah, August, I've gotten into better habits about that. I think it's a successful month. I had such a great summer. I did so much fun things. So I'm very thankful and very grateful, but yeah, that's like the summer recap. And now we're going to move on to our September goals. I don't have that many goals for September just because um, I don't want to do too many and then not actually hit them. So here's what I have. Um, I have hit 5,000 on TikTok, which I definitely should. I have like 48, 30 or something right now. Um, I want to work out four times a week. So I've been working out like four to five times a week. So we're going to stick with four. I've been doing boxing and then on like my rest days, I do yoga. So continually, continuously doing boxing and yoga throughout September. I want to read two books. So for the longest time, I had read one book on my goals list. And then in August, I read like four books in four days or something like that. So I've extended my goal to two books. Um, I want to post on YouTube twice a week. Um, I genuinely love vlogging. So why am I not doing it? So two times a week is very like sustainable. And then lastly, 10 minutes tidy every day, just because it's so much healthier for your mindset to wake up and have a clean space. So doing like 10 minutes, like if I need to wash the dishes, do it, do it like immediately, you know? So yeah, that's my goals. Okay, it's later now, I changed. We're going to Plato's Closet to sell some of my clothes. I'm hoping to at least get $45 because I have like a bag of stuff. It isn't that big. But I've got some good stuff in there, so I better get $45. And then we're also going to go to TJ Maxx, Target, just to look around. It's 109 degrees today, so it's not like fall-esque, but we can pretend. And I need to get my friend Tamara a birthday present because her birthday is tomorrow. So that's the vibe. Oh, also I get my eyebrows waxed at 545. Resetting, getting my eyebrows in check, and hopefully make some money for us to spend money balance is this cute i can't tell um, no i'm not gonna get it oh adorable so many cute little pumpkins i have some from last year so i'm not gonna get these done i went to pick up my plato's closet um i had good things i had princess polly i had amazon tj maxx like they tried to give me five dollars five dollars and i was like this boutique dress right here is like fifty dollars it has a tag on it and so they upped it up to thirteen dollars but Oh my gosh, that's so freaking annoying. So I'm just going to sell the stuff on Poshmark because I will make more money doing that. But yeah, I didn't make $45. Sad girl. But I'm starving, so I don't know if I want to get Tropical Smoothie or Chick-fil-A. It's a real predicament. Okay, y'all. I got my nails done, which is super freaking exciting because I had like a TikTok collab with this nail salon. So not only did I get an amazing pedicure and I got my nails done got freaking paid which is mind-blowing to me and I'm so lucky so grateful and look at my nails so since it was like a collab I thought I would do like something interesting and I got zebra print and I love them and this isn't something that I would normally do I was like paying for it you know because it can go either way but I love them so much I think they're a great like fall nail and the people in there were really nice it's called modish nail bar Greenbelt Avenue for Texas people yeah so to conclude I got my nails done got my eyebrows done I need to get a spray tan but I'm not gonna record that budgeted yeah so here they are at a different angle 
but yeah thank you so much for watching i'm super excited for fall and i'll see y'all in my next video